Hi folks, Mercedes Vito. Slight door problem. I'll show you what it should do, the other side. Bear with me. Bum, bum, bum. There we go. This is what should happen. Whee! <laughs> and I think that's what's gone wrong. Well, that's what I've ordered. And I've checked and found a bit missing. So I've got no tripod today. So I've got to go around the other side. Get the door open best I can. I think, I've never done one before, I think it's just those two, and this arm, I think you tuck in, lift over, and it hooks on the rail underneath, not 100%, so I'll give that a go. I've sussed out that it's the T45 that I'm using, that side there, let me just get that in focus for me. Come on, it doesn't matter. There you go, T45. So I've brought round a block of wood. Get you back out again. And can I get this door open? I might have to put you down. Sorry, sorry. Oh, there we go. That's better. It's okay. Uh, I'm gonna have to. I think I'm gonna jack the door up a little bit because when it gonna when I take that off, it's probably gonna drop. So just bear with me for a sec. Okay, put a few pieces of wood on. Just give this a bit of a lift and it came up. So now I'm gonna undo those. Oh yeah. yeah, not bad, sorry. I'm trying to do this and look what I'm doing and get the camera at the same time. Right, that. Oh, door should be supported. I was only guessing this, I'm pretty sure this is what happens. Well, by the look of it, I found, I'll show you the bit I found in a minute. So hopefully the door doesn't just drop off. It shouldn't do. Nah, it should be fine. What I'll do is pull this forward, and I think it just drops in, it drops out at an angle, like it's sort of like I showed you. Well, we'll see. We'll see. Oh, right, is anything there? No. There's a little... There isn't much, there's no play backwards or forwards, so I think it can only, it'll only fit one way. So I'll take that off. Right, I'm just going to put this down for a second. Right, so I just lifted the door up slightly, you'll see. You see, it comes up and it comes away. So let's see how this comes out there. So I reckon it lifts. Okay, let me have a look. Okay. All right. So I've got the old one out, but how are we going to get the new one back in? Because this is the bush that's come off it. So I have to have a bit of a look at that one for a second. I've got the new one, I'll show you that. Okay. Brand new one, um, $15.99. Actually, dirt cheap. I'll put a link in the description down below. I've just got to figure out how to fit it. I hope I haven't got to take all that running rail on the inside off because it looks like it's a bit of a bugger but i think i might have to let's have a look well i just knocked the door into that, but the door's just sitting there so you're probably gonna have to support it if you don't but it looks like how the hell am i gonna get to that one i might be able to get the rubber off so i think you've got to take off your running rail i can't see any way around it I'm a stubborn git because I don't even want to go and Google it. I want to have a go. <laughs> right. And for that, I'm using a T30. Let's get that in focus. If we can get it in focus. We don't need it. Anyway, there you go. T30. Okay, so I'm going to take everyone out. I think that's the only way I can think of doing it. I have even looked as myself on a Uber Tuber Tuber and I couldn't find anything, so I'm just going to do it myself. So I'm going to do all the rails. I've took the rubber off, as you can see, all the way along, and I'm just going to see what happens. I mean, it's only, what, one, two, three. These are slightly different sizes, so I've just put them to one side. Three, four, five, six. Six bolts. Right, so I'll carry on, because I can't hold this as well, and then we'll see what happens. Okay, they're all undone, but I seem to be stuck down here somewhere and I've got me torchy my torch face and I can't see anything so I might have to take this step off the, the plastic bit to have a look because underneath here there's some screws as well that takes a metal plate which supports this so give me five 
Okay, so plastic comes off. I think this is where you have to do it. So take the plastic off. And then we've got a guard here. And um, I think there's only about one, two, three, four, five, six screws. Okay, sorry, can you see them? Right, okay. Two, three, four, five, six. So let's get them undone. By the way, the plastic cover just comes off, it just lifts. Um, and there's a couple of tags missing anyway. So just come straight off because they just pushed into these clips, just held in place. So, okay, just sort of tell you that. So, but I did have a bit of sticky carpet on mine, so it was a bit more awkward. Okay, so that's all the bolts out. This one at the end, I suppose you need to remember that it's slightly longer. So, let's see what we can find now. Still doesn't seem too. Too obvious. Okay. Right, let's have a look. Okay, on observation as well, this part which sits on here, when I look at it, it's the lock mechanism. I've took it off, I didn't mean to, but it's the two screws before the end. So you just need to remember that because this one will go into the chassis, which is there. Okay, and then these two, let me just get that in focus for you. So that one goes in the chassis at the end, and this one just pops in these two. So they, whether they can stay on or not, I don't know, I haven't got the rail off yet. I don't know how that comes out, but I'm going to show you what I just did, which was accidental. So let's do it again. So this is the arm mechanism. Okay, so I just put it in, because you're going to need that much clearance. Okay, so you're going to need to get this, this, this um, plate off and the step off. You're going to have to do that. Maybe I don't think you have to undo the rail. I don't think you do, but I did. It doesn't matter, but if you just watch, I just slid it, and look at that. I'll do that again for you. Okay, so take it out. Let's get this in focus. So all I did, I push it in like so, and just running forward slightly. Come on, focus. And that's it. It slid in. So now I'll put them all back together, put the bolts back in, and um, I'll show you when it's fixed in a sec. Yeah, so just to confirm, I don't think you have to undo the rail. I think it will fit. Um, so there's no need to undo all that. But I want to get it clean anyway, so it's a good job. There's a lot of muck down there, so I'll clean all that out. We had some water spillage. So, okay, I'll crack on and um, I'll show you how I'm nearly there. Okay, now give it a clean. I'm just going to put a bit of grease on that. Seems okay. Seems to run all right. Found a few. Well, found a few bearings. I found one, couple. Oh, sorry. So there, the old one. Right. I'll put that back in. Bolt that back. I'll get back to you in a sec. Sorry, this focus is terrible. Right. Because I moved it, I didn't notice it. Um, it looks like this little arm fits through. You see that the little gap there? It must be like a, a lock mechanism. So I'm gonna put that in there, line that back up, and I'll. Yeah, it looks like it's like I have to use a bit of force for that to get those back in. So a okay, bit of a pig that bit. What I did was put a smaller one of these hexagon screwdrivers in the first hole brought it lined it up put the first screw in then I'm fitting the rail back on with the one screw and I've got to put pressure on this to bring it and line it up with actually it's just out of line so I'm gonna put a piece of wood underneath there and just bring it down and line it up hopefully and that'll do it I think it's just the lock mechanism there's no other way I can think it can go on I didn't even see that to be honest with you but there you go you can you can learn by my mistakes <laughs> Right, what I'm going to do is tighten this up, get the rail in place. Uh, that's it. I'll just get, I won't go too tight just yet. I'll give them a tweak and I'll get this one in for you now. Okay. That was a pain in the bum. It took me about 20 minutes to get that back in there with leverage and everything else. So I'll put the other ones back in now. And hopefully this bloody works. Oh, right. Don't forget to put the rubber this side before you put this all back together again otherwise you're going to have to take it all off again to get the rubber the other side unless you can split it but no need 
Right, okay, so I'll do that now and then I'll get this door on. I've got a piece of wood supported at the moment. So you have to lift the door up slightly. I've got it supported again, there's no need to. Once it's in, it goes into a lock position underneath. So uh, it can't slip back out again. Right, let's get the screws in. So the plate wants to go on. Line them up. I'll leave them slightly loose just to make sure the door closes properly. I'll get back to you. Okay, another mistake because I didn't see it come off. This you saw that little lip underneath in the, inside there. That little it doesn't go through. It sits on the outside because when you close the door, it can't go any further because it's jammed. Because the little lip here. It's stopping it from going back anymore. So all these I'm doing, I make my mistakes and I don't mind admitting them because that means other people can just say, <laughs> I'm not going to make that mistake. Okay, so these, this, when it goes back in, I've got to take it all off again <laughs> and do it the other side. Okay. Okay, I'm going to try this. I've put the bottom screw in loosely. What I'm going to do is push it over, put pressure on the spring to hold it back and then try and get the other screen. I can't hold the camera, but you'll see what if I do this. So if I start screwing that in now and bring it, it should bring her in tight. Sorry, bit of focus there. Right, so once I start doing this one, so I'll tighten it a bit more and then I'll, I'll come back to you. Okay, so I've not tightened it fully, but you can get the gist. What I'll do is force that back now with a screwdriver and get that. I'll need it with my fingers, but I don't want to trap my fingers. There you go. So, yeah, <laughs> I could have done that in the first place, but I thought this was on the inside, so it's my mistake. So I'm telling everybody because I don't care. It's my van, I'm learning, and that's what I do. Okay, so I'll get this screw in and then we'll get back together again. Just to show you that this will then slot, sorry, into here, so that. Keep doing that, I'm not really good at this camera. Right, so this will slot into that, and that's why it makes it secure. So I've got that to do now. It's not bad underneath. And I'll show you the other bit I've just done. So hopefully that's what it should look like. Okay, we'll give it a second. We'll give it a go in a sec. Okay, bear with me. Here we go. Should pay more attention, shouldn't we? Okay. Okay, let's give it a test. Um, that lock mechanism works now. <laughs> right. So, God for that. Right, okay, so there we go. Right, if you enjoyed the bit, give it a thumbs up. I know it's long winded, I do apologise. Uh, but I'm not going to cut out the mistakes <laughs> because that's what happens. Right. I'll put the step back in, which is the metal plate first with the big screws, and then the other bit just slots into place. You've seen it, I took it apart. All right, take care, and um, yeah, subscribe button over here and the notification bell if you want to give that a bit of a, a click. That will tell you when the next videos are coming out. And over here is the next video uh, either videos I've done or interests to what I've done with this. Or just the next new video coming out. Okay, take care. Catch you in the next one. Guys, just on reflection. You don't have to undo the rail. You don't have to undo the mechanism. All you have to do, as far as I'm concerned, is take off this plate. That. That'll give you access so you've got a good leverage that pushes it in. And then roll it along and it's in. Alright. Thanks.